Hello, this is Hassan Al Ali, and I'm from Saudi Arabia. I'm studying chemical and biological engineer, and I choose to take the course Engineering 300, which is 3D printing, because I think it's, really, it's going to be really benefit to my field in the future. So, as you know, Saudi Arabia is well known by oil, so I chose to make oil pump jack and in this video we're going to see the process of making the 3d printing of oil pump jack the simulation of it and then we're going to talk more about the modeling and the purpose of it let's see <laughs> Cleaning parts. Now we, we clean this. We take the uh, extra layers here. So we take the extra layers here. So as you can see, we need to also base it. So, the goal and purpose of a 3D printing. With a 3D printing, designer has the ability to, uh, to turn the concept to the 3D modeling and prototype and implement rapid design changes. With the 3D printing, we can have better visual than 2D or on the screen, as well as saving money by taking off the large area into the small area. Finally, we can also have final product by 3D printing, like tripods. The goal of making this design. So basically, many industries has a lot of kind um, of oil pump jack and this is one simulation of it so we usually use this to get better visual of the parts of it so you can see it in all angles and that's the main reason of making this design so this is the simulation of pump jack and uh, this is structure usually in metal structure and they also call it oil horses or oil derricks uh, so the pump jack usually use it to uh, extract oil from the ground and uh, the, they function as a traditionally sucker rod pumps and it's made up of five parts now let's go to the parts of oil pump jack and um, so this is the something past which is the base and hold the walking beam and the crank so as well as the body of the uh, pump jack is called a walking beam and it acts as a giant lever the tail end of the pump jack is a crank and a counterweight which work together to move the walking beam up and down as the walking beam moves the heads pops up and down as well a long metal rod which is that one called a brittle extends downward from the head and penetrates deep into the ground reaching the oil well as the pump jacks heads pops up and down 
the rod goes up and down as well. So this is the actual uh, simulation we have. We use uh, its code and we print it. And um, it's here we successfully print the walking arm, uh, walking beam and that's called uh, pitman arm and pitman arm is a different location from pipe jack to another pipe jack and that one is um, has counterweight and a crank so these two which is also successfully printed uh, it's called samson past um, we have um, difficulties printing the prittle which because it's really thin so we use a uh, external prittle 3d pr printing and the the head is called a horse head there was an extra layers uh, on the 3d printed so we have to uh, re clean it and remove it as you see as you saw that in the video so we need to remove this area and that and that as well as all of it. however we face some uh, difficulties here so in the in the base we we couldn't uh, tr we couldn't stick the base to the ground of the printer because the glue was not great so we changed that glue and we fix it so we we try to fix it three times also another difficulties is this area was super thin and the printer was not successfully printed so i use an external one um in the cleaning these parts and here is was not uh, good enough because um it's really easy to break it when you clean it so uh, um, hard so I think these the difficulties I face in the uh, printing however uh, in the future I can I can uh, do divide my printing to two like I can print this first and then printing the top one after that I think this is gonna make it um, easier for the printing about my project so my project as you can see is really small and easy to carry however I got to finish it in more than 11 hours so my printer I, uh, the printer I use is not the best as well as the material so um, this is one difficulty I face also the base was not the best and we tried to fix it three times and however we get it done uh, good enough as you can see uh, finally 3d printing is really uh, great for uh, best uh, visualization in uh, simulation you can see it and uh, and you can touch it in all angles so I think you can explain every part in the material uh, easy to the industries or to high school students or college students to uh, make him understand the all, uh, the project easily um, I think uh, I'm gonna take uh, another uh, course about how to model the uh, the project like AutoCAD or SolidWorks because uh, I need that in my field. Uh, that's what I have and thank you so much for your listening. See you.